G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum. Another very sunny summer day, but it is a Tuesday, which means that we have a chance to hopefully find Ted out there somewhere. So uh, we're going to try and uh, make sure that we do some activities involving uh, going out into the bush or the tropics or wherever really to uh, <laughs> try and find him once and for all. Uh, we have our improved table saw so we will actually play around with that and uh, that reminds me we do need to speak to Franklin once more uh, about getting uh, another table because uh, I think I want to at least have a couple of those tables going. We could potentially get rid of the last table uh, since I think having a couple of tables there in that space will already be pretty efficient. Uh, let's get the day started with all of the farming that we need to do as usual. Um, I think I maybe forgot to make some more fertilizer the other day. That's right, we'll, uh, we'll be able to make some more, that's fine. It's not like we're super desperate for some fertilizer right now. Um, let's... Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a difficult time with some inventory space this morning. Um, we could probably make everything work, I think. Let's grab some milk and the wool. Let's get Kwandongs ready for these guys. There you go. There you go. Alright, and yeah, we should feed the doggos actually, while, uh, while the time is right. There you go, and there you go. Alright, for once, all of our animals are cooperating very, very well. Uh, let's deal with the crab pots. Now, uh, the other day we played around with those vine walls and they look quite nice actually, so uh, it's given me a, another idea of how we can use those vine walls and instead of, um, you know, just using them in the project that I'm currently working on, which is the uh, flower garden project, uh, I might actually see if I can utilize it for the farm as well because uh, what's going on with the farm at the moment which I think uh, could benefit from uh, a bit of organization really is uh, these beehives or apiaries. So uh, instead of keeping the apiaries in a couple of different locations I think what we could do is actually uh, relocate all of them in the one spot and actually have them enclosed in the vine uh, walls or, you know, uh, between all of the vine walls, if that makes sense. Uh, and I think that'll look cool, you know, kind of just enclosing where the bees would be. Uh, and, you know, if they escape, they shouldn't really get too far. <laughs> Technically, it's not like that. that's really a problem, but um, I'm just checking on our final uh, space here, which we uh, we created a couple of days ago. Things looking good and the automated sprinkler is working. Uh, we still don't know where all of our um, watermelons are spreading to so uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything really to do with the farm except for maybe Cherry Road. We've got cherries ready for harvest. Let's quickly grab all of those and once we're done I think we should be able to start the day. Uh, so yeah, as I said, the agenda is going to be speaking to Franklin about commissioning another uh, table saw and uh, we will then quickly make our way out uh, into the bush and really a couple of things we could do there is we could go to the north and continue working on the project happening there uh, or we could work on ramps. Oh god, all right. Uh, you know what, guys? I, I think I've completely stuffed up uh, our onion situation the other day. Uh, so that might be a bit of a problem. Let's just grab a few things. Uh, and, yeah. We'll try and fix the onion situation over there. I, I just remembered as soon as I saw a bag of five onion seeds. I was like, bloody hell. 
<laughs> it's so hard to keep track of everything that you're trying to do in this game. Um, Alright, so luckily we have no need to, uh, I guess, you know, till the soil or uh, put more fertilizer in. So um, at least uh, there's no additional work there. We just needed to get the onions in. And I guess the timing of those onions are going to be different than the rest of the onions, but that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll work with it. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Let's head on down to Wuyan Town and uh, do what we need to do over there. Uh, attempting to complete the uh, more of the flower garden project, but I think we'll give that a bit of a break today and we'll work on other stuff. Uh, and again, I'm really, really hoping that we'll bump into Ted today. Um, so let's do that. Let's grab that. I'll put the wood planks there. Uh, we should get a few things going while we're here. So more cheese, more flour, uh, wool, let's get brews going. Uh, and yeah, let's put the rest of the stuff away here. Okay, looking good. Uh, could have put this away. I'll uh, deal with that a little bit later. Alright, so our improved table saw is going down. Uh, our next one is coming up. And do we have enough money for that? I think we do. We just need all of the other stuff for it. Uh, I can't remember exactly what we need. I think it might be some of these bars. Maybe the hot cylinders. Um... The Baconium bar and the cash. So hopefully this is enough. Let's have a chat. If not, then we can go back and fetch what we need. Yes. Can you make me something, Franklin? Let me show you what I can craft. Please don't waste my time. Um, all right. So we'll try not to waste your time, mate. Uh, yep, we can get this. Let's go. So, you're interested in my improved table saw. It'll be very handy, I can assure you. Now, to make that item, I will require the components and 300,000 dink. I'll also require a day or so to make it. Do we have an agreement? Let's do it. Excellent. I'll begin right away. It'll probably take all night, but I assure you it'll be ready by tomorrow. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Sweet. All right. Um, let's just quickly grab that. Uh, might be a good chance for us to just sell stuff to John. Let's drop this in. Ah, I see you've got a nice beehive there. Looks like it weighs around 1.3 kilos. How does 13,000 sound for it? Yeah, sure, mate. That's uh, pretty good. Let's buy a mine pass. We may as well since we're here. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why there's such a thing as, like, mine passes and stuff. I mean, it's not like he owns the mines, does he? Um, but anyway. Let's sell all of these things. Actually, we still have space for one more. Should make quite a lot of money here. Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help? Mate, I am going to sell you all of this junk. Uh, yep. Uh, is that it? I think so. Let's see. Hold up, I can offer you 400,000 dink. Alright. Yeah, I guess that's not bad. Paid off the table saw. Uh, yeah, we definitely need all of the things here, so, you know, we've got a few more things that we could sell, but, you know, I'm in no hurry to try and sell all of those off. Uh, one thing that I forgot to do at the beginning of the month, oh god, alright, it's Fletcher's birthday! On the Sunday, we missed it! And she threw us that, like, really beautiful Wu Yan day as well. God damn. Right. <laughs> um, well, 
we're gonna have to wait for next summer uh so yeah it'll have to be for whenever i revisit the uh the series guys uh maybe you guys can do me a favor if i do ever uh revisit the series which is definitely gonna happen with the summer sun update uh but um you guys might want to just quickly remind me that on the Sunday uh, it is Fletcher's birthday and uh, well sorry not the Sunday the, the first of the summer it's Fletcher's birthday and we definitely have to give Fletch a birthday present bloody hell oh actually sorry let me just check that again okay so a few more days till it's Theo's birthday and then it'll be Sheila's birthday so a couple of birthdays coming up they're still pretty far away so um, I'll, uh, I'll definitely be checking back uh, for birthdays as we progress. You'd hope I'd, I will anyway, but... Uh... Alright. 15 keys. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I'm just thinking maybe I want to make some more ramps. And... Yeah, I think maybe we'll work on roads and bridges. So, ramps. We need... I think it's the uh the cement if i'm not mistaken and maybe the planks i can't remember now palm wood planks okay oh well, we are sort of running a little bit low on the palm wood plank front let's actually use our brand new uh table saw here oh wow look at that oh it gives us so much 10 in uh, in the one, like, well, I, I assume we're just dropping in. Ah, oh, okay, I see what's going on. So, it takes 10 wood, uh, but you just don't have to sort of stick around and, and keep going uh, to actually make the amount that you want. Ah, oh, that's, that's really cool. Okay. So, it doesn't, like, it's not, like, super efficient in terms of resource intake, but it is uh i guess more uh time efficient right because you you get to uh leave and work on other stuff while uh while it's sort of cutting away um 45 ramps yeah maybe that's enough for now uh we might need to gather some more palm wood very soon um cement just trying to think of whether or not i've got stuff that I can leave behind. Probably just the iron hoe back when we get to the um, the house. So we'll, uh, we'll do that when we swing by. Uh, I would like to take a, another picture of this area as I said before. Um, I don't have a camera with me. We'll, we'll get back to that. Uh, yeah, I do have a lamp here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that lamp there or if I'm just going to use it temporarily. I think it's the latter, uh, but if that is the case, then we're going to have to think about some other form of lighting. I guess it won't really be that much of an issue. Ah, the mining pass. All right, I, I could have left the mining pass behind as well. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think things are looking good. Uh, we just don't really have much food, do we? Uh, perhaps maybe we can have some Kwandongs as we do all of this work. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've grilled up some Kwandongs. Once in a while. Alright. Let's head out. So, um... I think we'll head here and get one of our large bridges set up. And let's hope that we come across Ted in the process. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, Ted is here. Finally. All right. Uh, let's just make sure that we know where he is. So, there. Let's have a chat. Ah, oh, Blue. Always nice bumping into you. What can I do for you? Uh, let's first check um what we need for the bone bows and the bone arrows so 250,000 that's easy 
bones, iron bars and copper bars, and the one slingshot which we've been saving. And then we need bones, mangrove sticks, and feathers. Okay. Well, uh, let's get this done. I mean, look, we probably will have time to come back to, uh, to Ted. So do we want to just go ahead and do the work first? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I want to get this done right away. Because, uh, I, I, f I feel like we're running out of time to do it in the series. And I just don't want to risk anything, so let's let's actually get the job done. That way we won't really be stressing out about not seeing Ted for a very long time. Also, good chance for us to just drop off uh, our mine pass right here. Hey, right, good stuff. So, um, let's pick up our feathers. We need mangrove sticks as well. Uh, we need bones, iron bars, and copper bars. So, iron bars, copper bars, uh, and bones. Bones, we just need to grab from the house. Um, just thinking about whether or not there's anything else we need to do right here. Um... We'll probably put away these gears. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can just spend some time just doing some brews here, or teas. Um, and maybe some flour as well. Right, uh, and yeah, let's go fetch those bones and We'll be off to go see Ted once more. Finally tick this long-term goal off and, uh, you know, play around with, uh, with our new toys. Uh, luckily we get to use them immediately, right? So, so I'm not entirely sure if we'll be very productive this episode because who knows, we might end up just playing around with stuff. Um, I probably just wanted to hunt a little bit of meat there while we had the chance. Uh, let's grab our bike. You know, I'm so glad that, uh, James decided that, you know, um, all the things that you craft, like, especially the vehicles that you craft, you know, they, uh, they basically don't get destroyed if you... Uh, accidentally hit them or, you know, animals, you know, try to destroy it. Like, you can literally just pick them back up. Alright, so, Ted. Ah, Blue. Always nice bumping into you. What can I do for you? Uh, let's get the bone bow. If you can make that for, for us, that'll be great. There you go, mate. There is your bone bow. What do you reckon? Pretty good, huh? Righto, is that all you need? Um, no, I need you to make the bone arrows as well. So... Oh, look at that. Okay. So, uh, this is a first, guys. I, I, uh, I've never seen being able to switch up how much stuff you can make. Um... Unless this has been added in a recent update, potentially. Or has it always been there? I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, let's craft a stack of 50 bone arrows. And uh, I think we're all done. Uh, we could check out whether or not there's anything that he needs doing. Just want to chat, mate. Uh, do you have a job for me? Ah, actually, I have a nine bright. <laughs> I have nine bright wires. I don't want any more. Do you want to buy it? Could let it go for fifteen thousand. Sure, mate. That's fine. I'll I'll buy some bright wires off you. Uh, if only this was like ep episode like fifty or episode one hundred or something like that, I would have appreciated all of those bright wires then. Uh, let's also. Just chat, because, you know, a lot of you guys are saying that I don't chat with him enough. 
Maintaining your equipment is not only mission critical, it's also the best way to spend a Sunday Arvo. Fact. Okay. Cool. Um, so, I assume with the bone arrows, you don't exactly have to equip them. You can just keep them in your inventory. Now, it's a matter of finding something to shoot. Alright. Okay. Oh, wow. So, we killed him in one go. Uh, I wonder if it does, like, critical damage or something like that. Nice. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about, like, this becoming, like, a third-person shooter perspective when you aim the bow. It's kind of interesting, though. Um, Alright. Unfortunately, we can't really recover any of our arrows uh, after using them, but yeah, this is actually kind of interesting and I would say it can be quite useful if we're looking at trying to hunt stuff because, uh, you know, a lot of the the critters that we try to hunt, they generally run away and some sometimes they can actually run away pretty quickly as well, so um, being able to just shoot off an arrow at these guys uh, and hunt that way is actually quite nice, so... Alright. Finally, the bone bow. We are officially a hunter now. Um, alright, so let me grab some of this bottle brush since it's ready for harvest. Tempting to actually cut these down and, you know, get some more seeds for some more restoration, but We've done that quite recently, so maybe we don't want to do that this episode. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we definitely have time to, you know, continue our work uh, on upgrading bridges and upgrading pathways with, uh, with ramps. So it should be all good. And I would say that's what we're going to be continuing to do for the rest of the day. Uh, trying to keep an eye out on, uh, I guess, places where we might be able to find some treasure. Um, obviously, I probably don't want to go, you know, into the rivers for that. But um, if we spot any treasure markers above water then uh, I'll definitely try and dig things out. Anyway, uh, I think this should work. And yeah, just need to get that brick, uh, brick path in. Okay, it looks like the, uh, the diggos are kind of hungry there. I want to give them a hand. Oh no. We get revenge. If we can shoot straight. Alright. Uh, so it's a little bit awkward for me. I'm one of those guys who uh, my, aim, like my aim when I'm playing first person shooters and stuff like that is uh, I have uh, uh, reversed um, Y axes. Um, it just feels natural for me. I think because uh, when I was a kid I used to play a lot of games which were uh, essentially like flight type simulators and um, generally pulling down means, you know, pulling the joystick down uh, or, or pulling um, uh, like one of those pretend flight sticks down to pitch up. Uh, if that makes sense. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for ramps, that's it. Oh, actually, I need to work on the paths first. There we go. Uh, yeah, actually that side is fine. Just need to get the ramps in.
Looking good. Alright, so now the Ute should be able to go through if we want to visit uh, Doggo Grotto. Um, I still think that there should be a feature where you could actually write down the names of places on the actual map. That would be cool, but uh, anyway. Um, next spot to work on. Uh, I mean, I've got one more large bridge, right? Uh, just thinking where I should place that large bridge. We want a large bridge there. I think we have one more large bridge going this way. And yes, it'll take us to the neck, uh, but not completely across to the western tower. Uh, and the reason why I'm not doing this side is because we can easily sort of cross, uh, well, we can easily just traverse through this side to get here anyway. Um, although you could argue to put, you know, a bridge down over here if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, we've only got one left and I don't know. I don't know about, like, replacing all of the bridges with the larger ones. Uh, so... I think I'll, I'll start with this one, and if there's ever a need, then we can continue on with the project. Uh, but for now, I think that's the extent of all of the large bridges. Okay. Uh, let's maybe just clear up the area a tiny bit, and... Okay, uh, how do we want to do this? Well... It seems like we're also going to need to widen the area to accommodate for the ute. So we might actually need to work on doing that first, perhaps. Uh, let's get rid of that, we don't need that. Uh, I suppose I shouldn't get rid of the entire thing, should I? Uh, I can probably keep a little bit of it. Yeah, just wanting to make sure that we can actually get the ute in pretty easily here. I have to try and get rid of this corner, I think. And I might also play around with the pathways a little bit more. Alright, so... Let's get rid of that. And let's start printing here. I think one too many. Uh, go 
over this side, do a printing here. Okay, now bridge going in. Good. And our pathways. Alright, I think the ute should fit, although maybe I can get rid of a little bit more soil over this side. Um, yeah, we'll actually do that. I think that's a good idea. Maybe just do that, and that, and... Yeah, should be able to just get rid of this. Yeah, that looks good. All right, um, we probably do need to just put a ramp over this side. Or a few ramps over this side. good. Great. Alright. Now I just need to fix this side. Oh, suddenly there are poos everywhere. I'll take those poos. Uh, and let's get our lighting back down. Okay, good stuff. Uh, this is probably a good place for a street lamp as well. And perhaps maybe a couple of signs? Not even a couple, three signs I reckon. Yep. Uh, do we have the sign writing pen? Yes, we do. So this one is... Uh, is that what we're calling it? Or Western Connection? I can't remember now. Uh, this one goes to... I guess we can say that it goes to Wuyan Town. And this one... Sort of leads to... Central Wuyan, so... That looks pretty good. All right, um, just trying to think of what to do next. We've got a lot of our bridges down, well, at least the, uh, the large bridges down, but we've now got a collection of small bridges to try and put down in different locations. I think in the next several episodes, we might actually uh, look at connecting a few more areas, maybe around here. Uh, and yeah, we'll continue on putting ramps down in various locations as well. But yeah, there's there's definitely still quite a lot of work to be done with infrastructure. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, I might switch things up and actually uh, play around with the uh, the project we've got going on in the north. 
uh, and just, you know, finishing up uh, all the water features that we've got planned for that area. Uh, unless something sort of comes up, uh, we don't really have any uh, sort of tasks from the board or anything like that either. So, um, you know, maybe we can afford to just do projects for the next few days. Uh, let me get rid of that. Cool. All right. And yeah, I think that that will probably be the plan for the next few episodes, unless we find some more keys. Like I would like maybe uh, five more keys before we go into the undergrowth. But um, you know, if we do go back to the undergrowth, I really don't have too many goals um, to try and achieve. Um, aside from, uh, of course, finding more Baconium is nice. Uh, but then, you know, like, what am I going to use the Baconium for exactly? Uh, I have no idea. Just want to quickly fix this up, since we're here. Uh... Would probably be better if we thicken this up a little bit. Something like that. Yep, looks good. Yeah, we've got plenty of... Oh, no. I, I take that back. This does not look good. Uh, I was going to say, we've got plenty of steps now, and I'm really struggling trying to think of how we're going to use up all of our steps. Um, I suppose, you know, we don't have to use everything <laughs> if we don't want to. Um, but it'd be nice to be able to actually utilize it. Uh, do we need to put stuff away? I don't think so. I think we probably have enough space to actually do some of the farm work tomorrow morning. Speaking of farm work, there's actually all, also the, the large farm that we should check on. Uh, the sugarcane might actually be done uh, and ready for harvest, potentially. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, fertilizer. We have no fertilizer going. Do we have what it takes to make some more fertilizer? We can use bones. Um, maybe I just want to check on the farm here to see if we've got spare poos lying about. All right. Those were the only two, apparently. I think we can make one batch with vombat poos, potentially. And yeah, one batch with bones, and that should be fine. Um, speaking of the bow and the bone arrows, uh, I'm not entirely sure if I should keep that on hand all the time, or if I should just let go of them and only pick them up when I want to actually do some hunting. I think it's the latter, guys, because uh, we probably have no reason to actually carry it with us constantly so uh, I'm just trying to think of a good place to keep them maybe here um, so that takes up a couple of slots though uh, I'm just thinking of whether or not we have other things that normally occupy this space I don't think so though I think uh, I think we can definitely keep it here potentially we were keeping some of this space for things like um, fencing and stuff but uh, I don't think we've got uh, a lot of spare fences to put in there anyway. So let's chuck that away. Uh, let's chuck that away as well. All right, looking good, looking good. Um, just tidying things up a little bit. Got stuff to put away in the workshop, but we'll get back to that tomorrow. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know. I would say that today's been a decent day. We finally found Ted. 
we finally had our bow uh, made and we've given it a go. It's actually quite fun actually so uh, I'm thinking of doing a few more hunting days so we can actually make use of the bow uh, and arrow a little bit more. Um, but yeah I don't want to constantly do like hunting all the time. Uh, one suggestion that uh, has been made in the comments is to perhaps maybe make some sort of a uh, like an arena where you can practice you know uh, the bow and arrow. Um, thinking about that I'm just not entirely sure what to use for targets just yet though and uh, I don't really want to use living things for targets and there's no actual target boards that we can actually craft I don't think so uh, but we'll see we, we could possibly just like use other things um, but yeah not a hundred percent sure on that one just yet anyway guys I am signing out leave a like a dislike or a comment or two down below and as usual stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one